is a huge day at Utica's Johnson Park Center. A ribbon cutting unleashing 62 new units of green supportive housing right in Corn Hill. Yeah, those in on the ground floor of this project say it's about more than just putting a tenant in an apartment. It's about transforming a community. Here's News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris. Ready? Get set. It's been so many years in the making it doesn't seem real, but 62 new units of affordable green housing in Corn Hill, about half of them with supported services, are now filled with people who need them here in Utica's Johnson Park. We took in 21 seniors because most on this block, 1300 block, were seniors that lost the houses. And so we wanted to give back. There's really not a lot of senior housing. So 21 apartments are dedicated for 55 and over with a chronic health condition. Then we have 10 more with mental health and the rest is low income. People like Reverend Meyer, who've been in on this project from the ground floor, say it's not just those tenants who should be rejoicing. You know, if the heart is sick, the rest of the body is sick. And I think the same thing. You can't have a vibrant city if one part is not doing well. So we need to really have a holistic view. All of these beautiful buildings we own free and clear. And we're so thankful. Ben for you to get us all of the mortgages. And here's how that works. New York State puts a grant enforcement mortgage on the property. So it's a mortgage that's free in the sense of no one's looking for financial payback. The payback is a 30-year commitment to providing the services and the housing. And so the investors get the tax credit for providing the private partnership funding that goes into developing the buildings. It's not just roofs over heads they're celebrating today, but joy in hearts. That's in the Green Community Room of playing games, coming together, walking together, because we live in a time where everybody uh, is on cell phones. We isolate and, and with that we get depressed. Green community housing, that means rooftop solar arrays, energy recovery ventilation systems that constantly exhaust and bring in fresh air, but that sense of optimism and fulfillment in the air, that's generated by humans. We love living here and gone here. We wanted to see change where we live, and that change is taking place. Jolene Ferris, News Channel 2.